Hey guys, this is how I got 18 million Giphy views in two weeks from nothing. I know what you're probably thinking, it's not a lot, it's not that great, but uh, I've only started making GIFs this year and I'm going to keep continuing and you can actually find all of my GIFs at Two Tail Dog on Instagram if you type in at Two Tail Dog and then any GIF that I've made in the API and the Giphy API will come up, especially useful on Instagram. So if you don't have an account on Giphy, what you need to do is you have to just log in, sign up, and then you type in your email address, or well, I'm just going to use a random one. And then you, you set your username and password. And I'll log in and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is my account right now. So as you can see, I'm sitting on 18.2 million views. And um, this is my most, most seen GIF. It's got uh, close to 14 million now. But the main thing and the main reason why it got boosted so high is because of this. So there's a few things you need to consider when setting up your Giphy profile. You need to have a strong profile picture and then you need to have a strong set of five gifts now i say this because to get your gifts on instagram for example you're going to need to have these because it has to go through a verification process to register you as an artist or register you as a brand and this is the differentiation and i'll show you how to do that now right, so if we look at my profile i have a gif profile picture that's first first and foremost which it just sets off a good tone secondly i have a good artist bio it's not the best artist bio i'd say but it's one that works and it's one that shows exactly who i am I'm from london uh, bold lines that's what i mainly do and i'm just you know expressing myself i also have a website though so this is my website which you've seen me make previously however you don't need one what i had here before when i did get registered first was my instagram just my instagram link and uh then you can add other social links and you have to do this guys to get verified and giphy because otherwise they're not gonna trust you you not you don't see him as a trusted profile you may be as a, a spammer now i'll show you what my first five gifts were so these were my first five gifts these were the gifts i put on before i applied to be verified so it was this simple kanye west one this uh alien monster head opening his eye two gifts that aren't transparent so these aren't referred to as stickers stickers you have to have a transparent background like this and these you can put on any instagram but in these ones you can put on the dms in instagram for example and i think the trans um flag was the last one i did and then i applied to be verified i'll show you how to do that now so if you go to this link i'll put it in the description it's called apply for an artist channel it gives you all the details of what you need to do i'll quickly summarize like i said you need a strong profile strong bio five strong gifts that represent your art style you can't just be randomly putting on like i know gifts from tv shows and stuff you can't like i have that but you can't do it all the time because then you're not an artist anymore really and then make sure all your links are relevant to you and then what you need to do is you need to click this link now mine is just going to come up with my profile and it's going to say this you're already giphy royalty this is me and you don't need to do that if you're already registered obviously now i did have one issue that giphy still hasn't resolved which is every time i try and update my banner it won't update i'll show you that now so this is the banner that i want to use right it says it's saved however if i go out of this there you go it's deleted i just refresh the link it's deleted and for some reason it doesn't update now once you've got a verified channel this is how to get more views on giphy this may seem counterintuitive but your links try and keep them to a minimum you have a maximum of 20 but you're going to want to keep them very relevant and specific otherwise giphy won't recommend that gif as much because it's in every category you can't put love cry death helpful wishful sad like it doesn't make sense to the giphy algorithm to represent your gif so this is the thing if you type in sad on a giphy registered api such as instagram your gif may not come up because it's not as relevant to that specific category of sad upset not happy you have to put those relevant things that you know double meanings in them but you have to keep it all specific now if we go to my most seen gif i'll show you the tags i use for this one now these are the tags i use for this specific gif it's the disney pixar alien from toy story so disney alien whoa because that's kind of like what he's doing aliens pixar toy story disney pixar Ooh, which i'll get on to why for some reason that's why i got so many views toy story 4 toy story 2 toy story 3, the claw then i hashtag all of mine with two tail dog because when you go into instagram and you type in at two tail dog many people don't like to do that they just think if they just type in the name it'll come up so i hashtag all of my gifts with my name so they come up easier rather than putting the ad in so these are all relevant to the gifts and within one day it got like 12 million or 8 million something ridiculous and i'll show you on my dashboard the most searched terms for each of my gifts and as you can see they're going to be very relevant so if you go into here you get your top gifts and stickers so this one used to be under the ooh that used to be the most searched term but now it's most searched under toy story so if you type in toy story you'll see one of my gifts this gift specifically on the recommended list 
That's because it's not only got a high view count, it's not only popular, but it's also got a high engagement rate. And you can see your engagement rate in the CSV files at the bottom of here. I'll show you that now. So this is your download the full CSV. If you download the full CSV, you can see the engagement rate, not just the views, because this, this is just how many views it's got when people are viewing it. Now this is my second most searched GIF and my third most searched GIF. Both search for is yay, because most people don't actually search Kanye, they search yay. And this is why it's come up so high. And then most people do search the shorthand. I didn't know that. Most people search the shorthand. So the shorthand would be mon, twos, wed, like for the days of the week, see the, people aren't searching the full day. So it's very, very good that I kept in the shorthands for my tags. As you can see, Beatles, Surprise, Peep, like these are all just relevant. For some reason, obviously the most searches die, but the thing is with Giphy is you have to keep it very family friendly. You can't just literally have someone dying. You have to have like a cartoon death where, you know, guys doing that or you're gonna cross eyes. You can't have literally someone getting, you know, stabbed to death, something crazy on there. You have to do it very family friendly. Otherwise, you're not gonna get verified, buddy. Let's hop into my iPad and let's do a gay pride gift because it is June and at the end of the day, I have a trans flag, I don't have a gay flag. So, well, actually, that's a lie. It's an LGBTQ plus flag, I think. I'm gonna have to look that one up right now. Anyway, we're gonna draw it. We're gonna make it a new GIF. I'll show you how to do it. I make all my GIFs in Procreate. Fairly easy, maybe about eight frames, done. So I've just hopped into Procreate here and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, well, I've got a new layer. I'm gonna double tap. If you don't know how to, what the double tap does, go to gesture controls, you can set it up all here. But I'm using the syrup pen, because it's very bold, and this is what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna quickly just put the colors in, and then we'll refine it in a bit. And yeah, it might seem a little bit stupid that I'm, um, you know, I have this at the bottom, but don't worry, we'll fix it in a second. So right now, we're gonna do the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and magenta or purple. Right, now let's do some refining. Now this time I'm gonna refine it. I'm gonna get my eraser tool, go down, eraser tool, go down. Edit the shape, that's what I was trying to do, double tap it. So if we edit the shape here, I can just go like that. Then I'm just gonna erase everything on the side of this. So now we have more of a square type flag, which is okay. You know, let's make a square rather than a flag shape. Just because there's probably a million gay pride flags and none of them are going to be like this. So everything is going to be fitted inside this square model. So I'm going to duplicate this, then I'm going to do alpha lock. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the way the colors are so it looks like the gif is moving. You'll see in a second what I mean. I know like you could probably be more concise about how to do this, but this is what I'm going to do now. And then I'll show you how I do this. So we've got the first layer here. I'm just going to intertwine these and make sure everyone is still different. Now this might hurt your head, however, it's not that weird when you keep doing it. Just make sure every layer is different. And then, this is where the magic happens. Go to canvas, go to animation assist. We're going to turn this down to, I'd say, six. And there we go. Now we've got a kind of waving, square-ish, gay pride symbol, if you'd call it that. I don't know. But it kind of conforms to this square here, and what you want to do is turn off the background now, so now it's a sticker. We can make it slightly faster, like that, or not. Um, all of these, unfortunately, have this little dot here. So, I'm going to have to go in and erase this on every frame. Or right, now the dot's done, this is the sticker we have. Um, I may do some slide edits, I may make it a half tone. Right, I'll just quickly show you how to do that. So if you go to one of these settings, they're all alpha lock, thank god, because otherwise it'll half turn the rest of the thing and then it won't be as transparent. You go to this magic wand, you go to half turn, look what it does, look at that. Is that not cool? It's cool as hell, right? So I'm going to make all the half turns different, at different intervals, it's going to look amazing. Ooh, as you can see, I didn't half turn, I didn't uh, alpha lock this and then half turn it. So you want to do that, just so the half turn doesn't go off into the edge. Metaphors coming in raw, like you gotta take plan B After you hear him, I'm done being bullied But also done dishing shit out like I'm a comic When it comes to it This is the final GIF, I'm gonna quickly show you how I'm gonna export this I'm gonna export it as an animated GIF Now here, we want transparent background tick on Alpha threshold doesn't really matter Unless your GIF is super like detailed Because then it will differentiate things I'm gonna click export, then you wanna go to airdrop Click whatever you want, or you could just save it you could actually save it as an image on your device and you wouldn't need to do that. 
but I'm transferring it to my MacBook because I'm using my MacBook. So. Plus, another real quick tip while I'm here, I don't know why it's taking so long. Another quick tip while I'm here is, um, for some reason, I can't on my iPad upload the GIFs directly using the Giphy app, so I have to do it on my MacBook. I'll show you how to do that now. So to upload a GIF in Giphy, what you need to do, or a sticker, sorry, go to upload, it's a sticker, then this is on my GIF profile. I need to do date added. And as you see, here's the Pride GIF we just made. And there you go. Now I'm gonna tag it Pride, Gay Pride, Gay Pride, with a space, Gay, um, LGBT, LGBTQ, LGBTQ+. Now these are the tags I'm gonna put on oh, also my name. Just because I feel like they're the most relevant to the, uh, actually Gay Flag, Gay Pride Flag, Gay Pride Flag. Just because these are the seemingly most relevant to the actual GIF, I put my uh, name there. I'm gonna put it as G because obviously it's uh, yeah. Also, if you put your rating in, they might recommend it more because they know to uh, push it because it's not gonna get flagged. Um, and all of this will go through a review process. So it'll take about half a day to a day. I say about a day before this GIF actually goes up on uh, Instagram. Just because Giphy has to go in and make sure I didn't draw like a like heroin addict or like a crack addict. I don't know. I don't know what would happen if I did that. It just has to be non-NSFW. And um, yeah. So here it is now. I can share it on here. But it's, if I go on my iPad, it'll say currently in review. And what that just means is the moderation process is going on. The final quick tips I would say are have fun with it. Make sure the style you make your art to is unique to you. With GIFs is they do take a long time. Don't just do what I've done, which is make a real quick gay pride flag and just go, all right, it's done. I didn't go too in depth with, you know, how I make GIFs. If you go to my Giphy profile, it's giphy.com slash tutel dog. I'll put all the links in the bottom or obviously you search it up on Instagram. You can see all the GIFs I've made. A couple of them are complicated, but I do think Giphy has a maximum limit of 35 megabytes and I have been bitten in the ass by that before because when I tried to upload it, it didn't let me. What I did was I had to go to a GIF resizer, which downsized my image, but kept the same quality. So it was just a smaller image and, and Giphy downsizes your stuff anyway. So when you look at your GIFs, they're not as high quality as when you have the source files. So I'll show you an example right now. So if you look at this dead alien, GIF, but then you go to my website and you look at the quality of this it's very high and if you look at the quality of this it's not as high and it's low low res and especially if you use it in the Instagram app I know maybe it's quite hard to uh, maybe it's hard to translate on screen but there's that anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did subscribe like do what you want it doesn't really matter uh, hope to see you guys on Giphy if you want drop your Giphy profiles in the comments and I'll review your gifts and then I'll share them around on my Instagram so thank you very much goodbye from all the stress I was put under surprise I haven't compressed carbon down into a diamond rioting liable to get in silent tears Pablo Picasso weeping here